Welcome back to the Canon stand here at Photokina 2018 here in Cologne, where we've all been about the, the family of photography here. I'm delighted to welcome a family photographer, Helen Bartlett. Helen, uh, you've just been speaking in the CPS lounge. Love your work. Um, you make a living out of taking beautiful snaps that capture moments in time of, their, of families doing what they do best. Uh, how did you how did you get into that? What was you what was your starting point into family photography? So I I started um, taking pictures when I was really little because um, my dad was very keen and we had a dark room at home. My mum had a nursery school in the basement of our house, so we had thirty two to four year olds term time running around the basement and the garden. And so as a teenager, I used to photograph the kids. I spent a couple of weeks in the nursery after term finished photograph the children and then print and sell the pictures to the parents as my summer job. Um, good start, good good business model and no shortage of subjects there to, to, to exactly. practice on. Um, so where you are now, uh, you are in demand, capture some beautiful shots. I've seen some of your shots, uh, not only in your presentations on your website, but also in the print gallery as well. Um, what does a shoot, what does a session with Helen Bartlett look like uh, as uh, you know let's say I'm wanting some shots of me and my family what do we do H how how does it work okay we have we have a lot of fun so I generally I arrive early because I find that children are always at their best first thing so I sort of rock up at breakfast time um, usually about eight o'clock and then we do the things that your family do because it's really important to me that the pictures are about your family, your children, what they love. So if they love going to the park, we go to the park. If they love playing at home with their Lego, we stay at home and play with their Lego. But usually it's a bit of a mix. Usually we'll be outside for half the session and then back home for half the session as well. So we get a mix of pictures. We get those sort of running around active outdoor shots, but we also get stuff that shows the children in their home environment, their bedrooms, because those pictures will have so many memories for the children when they're older because what I want to do in my pictures is not take pictures that are about the photo shoot I don't want the kids to look back on them and go mum and dad had a photographer over I want them to look back at a picture and think wow that's that was my first bike golly dad taught me to ride my first bike or that was my bedroom and I shared it with my brother and we used to get up to all these sort of scrapes in that I want the pictures to take the children on their own kind of memory journeys and so by doing that it's really important that we do the things that they do normally in the places that they normally do them. You're not capturing photos, you're capturing moments, capturing memories. How as a photographer then do you approach that because you know in a sense you must be kind of transparent or not there or is, is, is that how you conduct your shoots? Are you really a kind of silent partner just observing? No, because I don't think you can be a silent partner just observing. Just by the fact that you're there, it changes the dynamic. So instead of being a silent partner sort of hovering back with a long lens, I'm right in the moment, but I'm there as a friend. You know, I'm sort of, I'm chatting to the kids. I'm playing the games with them. You know, I'm running around playing hide and seek and, and I'm chatting to the parents. So instead of it being, oh, there's a photographer here, it's like if you have your mate round and you're chatting and you're drinking tea, you forget they're there almost that the family dynamic remains as normal but you just become part of the family for that day hey auntie helen's here for the day exactly, exactly. and you know i've got a lot of families that i've been photographing annually for the last 14 years so it, it is a bit like that you know you you look forward to seeing the kids and you're sort of they'll want to know about the sort of things you've been up to and you want you sort of you following their lives so it is it's very it's very intimate in many ways and that really comes across in your work the other thing that comes across in your work is that it's all in black and white. Now, you know they do colour cameras now. Tell me why. Tell me about the choice to go with black and white purely. I've always loved black and white. We had, I mean, we, we had a colour darkroom at home as children, which is very unusual, but we also had a black and white darkroom. And all the pictures that my dad took of us when we were children were in black and white. And what was so noticeable about those growing up is that they... They always look good. They look good when I was little, but they look good when I was a teenager and you know, you had people around to the house and you've got pictures on the wall and they always look great. And they look great now and they fit seamlessly with pictures I'm taking now of my nieces and nephews. They fit seamlessly with pictures of my parents when they were young. It's got this sort of continuity and timelessness to it, which I feel is, is hugely important because I want the pictures to be 
I mean, they are obviously for the parents who are buying them now and looking at the pictures of their kids, but they're really also for the children and for them when they're grown up. So I think everything we can do to make an image timeless, but also it's it focuses the mind black and white you know it's you don't get distracted by color it's all about emotion it's about interaction it's about relationships it's not about the color of a t-shirt it's i think it's a very strong medium for family photography in particular so when you're behind your camera there are you shooting in color and going to black and white once you go into your post-processing workflow or are you kind of shooting black and white in camera well, I, I shoot, currently I shoot with two 1DX Mark IIs and I have those set to monochrome mode. So the screen on the back of the camera is black and white, but obviously the viewfinder is colour. But I kind of feel I see in black and white now after so many years. It's sort of, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm always looking at tones and light rather than colours. But with the new ESR, which I'm going to be adding to my kit bag the moment it hits the shops, then I'll be able to have the viewfinder in black and white. And when I've been shooting with that so far, having a black and white viewfinder has been an absolute game changer for me. It's amazing. I can see exactly what I'm doing. And I think it's, it's improving my photography because I can be so confident so quickly in how I'm moulding the light in a picture. I mean, it's, it's brilliant. It's amazing. Helen, it's been amazing to have you here in the studio here at Photokina 2018. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your work, for being very generous with your insights into your business and how you conduct your shoots. We're very grateful for that. Have a great rest of show. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's all from the studio for now. We'll be back later on today with more bits and bobs from the show floor here. Stay tuned at Canon Events. See you later. <laughs>